again. Welcome back. It's Brubacuin. Today on the menu, we're doing beef skewers. We've got some top sirloin here. Uh, we're going to cut this thinly, get it on some skewers. We're going to do it with lemongrass straight out of the garden. It's going to be a lemongrass kind of Asian infusion type uh, marinade that we're going to put on these things. We're going to serve it with a little bit of uh, coconut pineapple rice. Should be pretty tasty. So let's get on that marinade. First of all, we got a quarter cup of soy sauce is going in. We got two tablespoons of mirin, which again is like a Japanese cooking wine. Uh, adds a little bit of sweetness, a lot of flavor. And then also a quarter cup of avocado oil. We've got just about a pinch of red pepper flake is going in just for a little bit of heat, nothing crazy. Tablespoon of coriander tablespoon of fish sauce. Now, if you don't know what that is, that's this stuff right here. Uh, it adds a saltiness to it. It's basically like fermented fish. I know it sounds kind of weird, uh, but it adds, it's in a lot of Asian food and adds a lot of flavor. So on top of that, now we have two tablespoons of mushroom powder and two tablespoons of ground ginger. What we're going to do is we're going to take for the lemongrass, you don't obviously need all of this. <laughs> uh, you're basically just getting down kind of to where you cut it off of where it grows out of the ground. And then we're just going to bruise that with the back of the uh, knife here. And what that kind of does is it just kind of breaks up the, uh, the fibers and releases some of the oils on that. So then we'll just chop this into little pieces like this and in those go. Super simple. Uh, you can find lemongrass at most of your grocery stores. Asian markets will definitely have it. So it's not that hard to find. It adds an amazing flavor that, that you really can't get from anything else. Uh, so there we go. There's our marinade already looks incredible. So now what we're going to do from here on out is we're going to trim up this meat. So you're going to want to get rid of any, any fat, any silver skin that's on that. There's this little chunk here that we're just going to get rid of. That one looks good. This has just a little piece here. And the top sirloin is a really lean meat, which is what's going to lend well to what I'm doing here. Like I said, we're going to cut it thin. We're actually going to hammer it out a little bit, kind of uh, tenderize it a little bit. Also give you a little bit more surface area to work with. Uh, but because it's so lean, being thin, we can throw it on the grill. It'll just take a few minutes and uh, should come out pretty perfect here. So we've got this one little last chunk. All right. Now we're going to cut on the length here and we're going to do it at a bias. Just again, it adds a little bit of surface area for you to skewer and we're going to go I don't know about that thick was about an eighth of an inch somewhere in there we'll just finish cutting these up do the same thing over here All right, so now we got our trusty meat mallet here. Uh, I'm gonna use the spiky side just cause I wanna tenderize it as well as kind of flatten it a little bit. And you're not going, you're not gonna go too crazy with this. You just kind of wanna kind of push it out in a movement. You're not like really hammering down. You're, you're kind of trying to spread it out a little bit. So, uh, That looks about perfect. You can see it leaves these little little holes in there, which allow the marinade to seep down in. And uh, I'm excited. This is going to be amazing. So let me get these finished up here, and then uh, we'll get these uh, into the marinade. All right, so we got all these done. They look incredible. In the marinade, they are going here. We'll just bring this over. And I want to dip each one in 
individually just to make sure that they get completely coated. Sometimes if you tend to dip them all in or throw them all in at once, then uh, you get some pieces that kind of stick together and they don't get marinated. So I like to, to add them all in at once or individually, I should say. All right, there you go. This is gonna be absolutely incredible. Uh, we're gonna let this sit for about 20, 30 minutes. Since it's not a really big piece of meat, you don't need to let it sit for too long. Uh, and then we'll get these skewered and throw them on the grill. See you guys in a few. <laughs> okay, here we go. It's been about 30 minutes. Meat's marinated, smells awesome. You, the lemongrass is so strong and it's uh, such a just incredible flavor. So uh, let's get these things skewered, super simple. I like using metal skewers, they're just reusable, it's easier. If you have the bamboo ones, more than welcome to use those. Just make sure you soak them for about 20, 30 minutes before you use them. That way they don't catch on fire. Uh, and then when skewering here, you just kind of want to thread it through top and bottom and kind of keep the meat stretched out. So about like that. This way you get like a nice flat surface. If you have an extra wide piece of meat, you can even put two skewers through it. That way, you know, it helps you flip it over a little bit easier. So let's get these uh, finished skewered up here and then uh, we'll get them on the grill. All right, there we go. Uh, I decided to end up doing just one piece per skewer. Uh, no, just seemed a little bit easier. <laughs> so uh, let's go fire the grill and uh, we'll get out there and see you guys in a second here. All right, we got the grill fired up. We got it on a little bit over medium here. Uh, number one step to do, I always rub the grates down with oil. You can either brush the oil on the meat or on the grates. I always just do the grates just because not only does it help with uh, the meat not sticking, but it also helps uh, conduct the heat through to the meat evenly. So you always want to make sure that your grill is nice and uh, oiled up here. I like using avocado oil also just because uh, it has a higher burn temperature than uh, say olive oil. And it's uh, also a little bit more healthier than uh, vegetable oil or something like that. So super simple. We got the skewers. They're just going to go on and they're going to take just a few minutes per side. You're not going to need a lot here. Get like a nice char going on. So this isn't one of those dishes that you're going to want to like just put on and walk away from. This is going to go quick and you're going to want to keep it monitored so it doesn't burn. Uh, I also have a high heat glove here that I just find is a lot easier than trying to flip these things with tongs. So as you can see, starting to look, yeah, look at that nice and dark. <laughs> starting to look, uh, got some nice char lines in them, nice grill lines. We'll just kind of keep rotating these around until we get to where we want. The uh, hot spot of my grill is kind of in the back area here. So these front ones need to kind of get rotated around a little bit. So these things are just about done. Let's get them inside, check it out. I know the lighting out here is a little dark, but uh, these things smell and look just perfect. So uh, let's go check these things out. Okay, here we go. Uh, these things just look perfect. Got some nice grill marks going on. Uh, total cook time was about five to seven minutes. Uh, let's give these things a try. See what the, uh, the verdict is, huh? All right. <laughs> the lemongrass is so, so strong. Such a good flavor. You get a little bit of the soy mixed with that and uh, everything else kind of rounds it out. These are absolutely incredible. Like I said, I'm going to serve it with some uh, coconut pineapple rice that I made. And uh, we'll call it a day. Man, I'm going to finish these really quick. You guys, thanks for showing up. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Again, we're barbecuing. Have a good one. Hmm.